Murray cod, or gudu as they're affectionately known. They're an amazing fish, our, our largest freshwater fish. Cod are the apex predator of our inland rivers. They eat top water, they'll eat a full grown duck at times. They'll eat lizards, snakes, they'll eat other fish, native or invasive, carp, redfin. Murray cod have a rough history in Australia. They're known to be in our Murray Darling Basin of rivers, but uh, when Europeans first settled, they nearly wiped them out, killing a lot of fish, removing their habitat from the rivers. It's only been in recent years that people have been able to conserve them a lot more and they were critically endangered at one point. Whereas now, you know, being able to fish for them for sport has actually brought a lot of better attention to the fish. And hopefully as that continues, we have more to catch. I've been lucky to travel to some amazing places and chase some of the most sought after freshwater fish. Golden Dorado, Taman, Wells Catfish, Arapaima. And I think Murray Cod should be on that list. They grow big, they hit hard, they take off the surface, and they're a beautiful fish. And they're also quite elusive. Some days they can be tough. You wonder if there's any in the river, and then the next day they're all over your fly. It's a great fish to chase. Yes! Holy crap, that was a fish! Josh invited me on a trip to come up to northern New South Wales and sight fish to cod in clear streams. So I jumped at that, and here we are, and it's blown my mind. Josh had told me how to strike for a cod and it's the strip strike, not a trout strike and uh, when it came down to it, just the fish came straight up and smashed that popper and just everything went out the window. Oh, same was behind that, wasn't it? I think I may have trout struck it. He definitely trout struck it, but sometimes you get lucky. It's been a pretty crazy experience hiking up here to these crystal clear rivers and sight casting for cod. Uh, didn't know it was an option and it's just been awesome. I'll be doing a lot more of it in the future. That was an epic little session. Sight fishing for Murray cod, that's gonna be hard to beat. Just dropped Angus off at the airport and we're heading further north to catch up with a cod on fly legend. Nick's been chasing cod on fly for about 20 years and uh, yeah, hopefully we can learn a thing or two. Um, oh, yep, yep. Can you read mate? Or is she right, Nishi? Okay. Why chase cod? Uh, it's just what I've grown up with in New England. From five, six year olds that we do go bush, weekends, and as I got older, I got jobs on farms, access to river country. I'm just out back. I love the bush, the sights, the smells, the sweat. Then all of a sudden, I just saw lots of passion, like using lures, spinner baits. I just went to fly, and that's just that's just a, a totally new dimension. Now I'm booked. Yeah, yeah, yeah,
yeah, eventually, like fish from the bank, it sort of grew old, especially in certain rivers, just bottle brush, overgrown. You, just, you couldn't fish a tenth of it, so I had to do something. I've seen little float boats, so I thought, yeah, they, they look just what I need. I can backpack them in, fly them up, fish water, then I can get to just the, the access you have with them, the freedom, the maneuverability around the snag so I can cover every inch of that snag under that bottle brush. Just keep moving when, they, when you do hook up. Aids in this trip strike. You can maneuver and fight that fish and enjoy it. The trip has been amazing so far, but the aim was to go for the trophy, the one metre Murray Cotton fly. So we decided it was time to pull out the big guns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Such a beast. These fish are so chunky, man. Such a mad fight. <laughs> Another chunky one. That's a beautiful fish. That size is just perfect. My time has come. I was so depressed. I hooked one just as big five minutes before and it broke me off. And this shallow piece of water here just cruising at night. This beautiful monster. Hey buddy, such a majestic beast. 
messing around, big girl. You have played the game well.